Looking for magic cards? Channel Fireball offers a wide selection of magic singles and sealed product. Use promo code LVD at checkout to get my personal token for free. Alrighty, pack one, pick one, holy moly, what a pack. Demonic Tutor, Answer Mystical Archive. Awesome card, even unlimited, it's still decent. And then Professor Onyx, probably the best card in the sets. Maybe on par with Mystic's Mastery, the Mystical Archive. Well, I mean, ideally you would have both, so you can Demonic Tutor to find Professor Onyx. But I think Professor Onyx is probably the better of the two. Even though it would be a lot of fun to be able to play with Demonic Tutor Unlimited. But uh, happily take our Professor Onyx, maybe hope to wield like a letter of acceptance to ramp into it. We'll see. Second pack. Well, could take the Vanishing Verse and set up for kind of a controlling Silver Quill deck. Mage Hunter is always fine. It's just a, a 4 drop that punishes some of the spell heavy decks. And then there's the Environmental Sciences to help us hit our land drops and potentially splash. So those are kind of the three cards we're looking at. Vanishing Verse is good, not great, since it does miss on hitting a lot of the multicolor creatures. I think Sciences might be the pick. Mage Hunter's fine, but kind of replaceable. The first copy of Sciences is just so important, and I almost never get the chance to play it since I am not willing to first or second pick it, but now might be the time. Doesn't commit us to a second color yet, which has its advantages. Ooh, Igneous Inspiration. Don't mind if I do. And with Sciences it becomes easier to splash. So who knows, this might be another Mardu pile where we just play a bunch of red removal-like Inspiration. Uh, Inkling Summoning would be our author consideration if we didn't have Inspiration here. But I'm kind of down. Well, if we're gonna go Mardu, Rip Apart is probably a fine place to be. Otherwise there's Pigment Storm if we don't want to commit to white yet, but going straight around black is probably not gonna work out, is my guess. So we're probably going to have to dip into a third color. So we'll take the rip apart and then we'll see where we end up. All right, fifth pick. The only cards that jump out are the Pledge Mage, the Prophecy and the Mentor. Pledge Mage a bit easier to cast if we're going to go three color. Yeah, we already have Sciences as a lesson. Let's take a Pledge Mage. And then a Hunt for Specimens is pretty good. There's also the Campus Guide and Letter, which will be important if we want to go three color for mana fixing. But Hunt for Specimens is a, a premium common here. So that's hard to pass up and then hopefully we can pick these up later. Annihilation would also be fine. And then now we probably pick up our Annihilation over a bunch of blue cards. So blue seems a little open with Opt and Guidance still here. But we're pretty happy with Mardu. And wow, still a lot of options late in the pack. Expel, fine removal if we're going to end up more controlling. A lot of Acceptance as we mentioned and then another Hunt for Specimens, even Study Break can be fine, although better, in an aggressive deck. So it's probably between Hunt and Expel. I'm leaning second Hunt. The fact that it does grab environmental sciences early does make it kind of a, a mana fixer too, in a way, as long as black is our primary color, which it's probably going to be. And then now, I kind of like the Expel. Spiteful Squad's good too, I wouldn't mind an Archway Commons and a letter. But I think we're gonna get more letters later in the pack. So we don't have to prioritize those right now. And Expel, you know, is pretty decent removal, deals with the large stuff which Rip Apart and Inspiration can't deal with. And 
Lawrence. That's a pretty late guiding voice for more aggressive white deck. Don't think we're gonna need it. So maybe a crushing disappointment for card draw. But we might not end up playing it. All right, a couple options. Probably not interested in the spirit. Uh, but I could see either Warden or Relic Sloth make the cut. Let's go with the Warden. Stops flyers, which can be annoying. And gets back our removal spells. I don't think this matters too much. Maybe transformation we can cast with an Archway Commons. Although I doubt it. Just take some uncommons for the vaults. And defend the campus might make the cut, although probably worse than expel. Alright, another Igneous Inspiration looks good. Can hope to wheel Academic Dispute, although we don't have many creatures to leverage it. Summoning, Necrotic Fumes, good lessons. I would also like the Pilgrim of the Ages to help us hit our land drops. But uh, yeah, Inspiration's just too good to pass up. So, I didn't get a letter of acceptance or campus guide in the first pack. Which I'm, you know, a little sad about, but hopefully we can pick up more fixing. There's a bookworm, but I don't think we need to splash green. There's a mage hunter's onslaught as okay removal. Uh, we already have double hunt, so probably don't need to prioritize crime session. Yeah, onslaught's fine. More removal for big things that Inspiration cannot deal with. Ooh, closing statement. That's nice. Even destroys Planeswalkers if we face the mirror match. So that's gonna be the pick. And then hope to wheel maybe the Archway Commons or another Pledge Mage. Pigment Storm would also be fine. Although, again, we don't know for sure yet how deep into red we want to go. So double red could be kind of tough. Although at this point it looks more like we're black red splashing white. Yeah, Divine Gambit could be okay, just as another removal spell, although we just said we would be splashing white, perhaps. So double white's kind of rough. Anatomy, you know, can be powerful lesson, although probably not at its best in this deck, where we don't plan on having a ton of creatures. So maybe it's the Mentor, just as a filler 3-drop. Yeah, I don't know, maybe we'll still take the Anatomy to make sure we have enough lessons, but I'm not thrilled about it in this deck. Alright, Rise of Extus. Gotta take it as much as I want uh, Lorehold Campus. The Explosive Welcome is a little expensive, but Rise of Extus is perfect. Alright, I think it's finally time to pick up our Letter of Acceptance. God's willing, great in a, an aggressive Silver Quill deck, but that's not what we're drafting. So we could use a Ramp and Fixing. Another expel, you know, would be fine, but I think we're doing okay in terms of removal for big stuff now between the Onslaught, the Closing Statement, and the Rise of Exodus we just picked up. And... Sure, I guess we'll take an expel. I don't think I'm too interested in Laureates, since it's awkward to cast if we're playing three colors. Take my introduction to Prophecy, which I don't think we have yet. Not too excited about Silver Quill Apprentice. Alright, we wield some goodies. Dispute, Fumes, and Pilgrim. Even the Study Break, but as we mentioned, probably not at its best here. Might be the Fumes. Great with our Hunt for Specimens, specifically. Dispute. Normally a card I like very much, but it's going to be difficult to get a 2 for 1 with this, given how few creatures we have right now. Kind of like another crime session, since we don't have a ton of 2-drops yet. And this again fixes our mana with Sciences. Although Tomb Shredder could be interesting too, as a creature that can keep growing. Hmm, Archway Commons versus Illuminate History. History is a pretty Decent lesson when we get to the late game. So I'm still tempted by it. Although we could use some more fixing. Alright, I'll I'll be disciplined and take the archway here. 
Another crushing disappointment. Don't love it in a deck that wants to play a long game since the two life loss is actually a pretty big deal. But don't really want anything else and we could need the uh, card advantage. Summoning would be fine, but I think we just need the campus. And probably not going to play 3x spells. Maybe we'll need the Guardian as a 2-drop to hold the fort. We'll see. Last pack. Opens an Oncolor Rare with Shale Dean of Radiance slash Ambrose Dean of Shadow. Now both halves are usually very good. This deck is a bit of a weird one since we're so creature light. So it's not actually going to be as amazing as we would like it to be. Still going to be good, of course. Uh, Humiliate would be fine. Could even play Summoning. And then Campus Guide, Hope to Wheel. Yeah, it's probably still the rare. Although it's kind of close with Humiliate. Again, normally it would be a slam dunk shale. There's an Artist, so we can cast a lot of spells to make treasure, so don't, don't mind the Artist here. Uh, reduce the Memory would be a fine lesson, although we already have Annihilation and Necrotic Fumes. So we're doing okay in terms of removal lessons. And then there's a Pigment Storm as well. I think we need to start picking up some win conditions. Since this doesn't look like a deck where we're going to get four of the uh, returned past caller, unlike our previous drafts, so. Let's take the Artist and then another Rise of Extus. Yeah, why not? Shield Mage could be an okay win condition too. I really want to start picking up some summonings to go with all the lessons we just picked up to help us close out the game. But, uh,. We don't have a ton of top end besides Professor Onyx, so we can probably play another Rise. Alright, Hunt for Specimens versus Spiteful Squad. And then there's also Illuminate History. So, we've got quite a few lessons already. Although no creature lessons. There's even a chance we will illuminate history since the previous one went pretty late too. Spineful Squad's fine, but if we don't have many creatures to receive the plus one counters, it's a bit underwhelming. And we could use more two drops. Another Rip Apart and a Comet Professor are the options. Rip Apart is decent. Dealing with random bomb artifacts and enchantments can also come up. Common Professor's fine. It's a win condition and evasive threats. But the fact that we do have Professor Onyx kind of gives us some inevitability in a way, where if we can land this on a stable board, we should be able to win the game. So having a ton of removal is not a bad thing. Relic Sloth might also wheel and we might actually end up playing it since it's not a bad win condition. Uh, campus over a third expel. Probably not going to get a ton of mileage out of Pillar Drop Rescuer. Gets back my Pledge Mage and that's about it. Spell Satchel could un unironically be okay in this deck. Or we could take the Shield Mage as a, a reasonable win condition. Yeah, I guess Satchel's still kind of mediocre. Three counters is a lot. Alright, another closing statement. Or do we take Pledge Mage to have something to win the game with? Who needs creatures when you just have infinite removal? I guess there's also the pass summoning. Yeah, that's close. Pass summoning is definitely my least favorite of the summonings in, in this deck. Since it doesn't hit very hard. We wield Humiliate and Campus Guide. I think I need Campus Guide more, even though Humiliate would be fine. We're gonna miss out on the plus one counter, so... It loses a bit of value in this deck compared to... A more traditional Silver Quill deck, although the discard effect is still nice to make sure the opponent doesn't have an answer for Professor Onyx. We might end up playing Explosive Welcome, although it doesn't seem necessary with Double Rise of Extus. And gotta take another Campus, even though Shield Mage would be okay. 
And we wield Spiteful Squad. Don't think we'll play it. Both uh, Learn cards are still decent here. Alright. Well, we're leaning pretty heavily on Professor Onyx to win us the game. And I might end up playing both copies of Crushing Disappointments just to have a bit of card draw. I'm a little sad we didn't wheel Illuminate History since that would have been a good lesson in case we flood out a bit. But our deck's got a ton of removal. Very importantly here the environmental sciences to fix our mana. So that's why we prioritized it. We didn't see another copy during the draft so I'm glad we second picked this and then Triple Hunt and Cram Session will be able to grab it early on. Ended up with, you know, a reasonable number. But as we mentioned, something like Elemental Summoning would have been great to have as well. So let's put these in the sideboard and then... We have a lot of ways to learn, so there's no shortage of those. Uh, might not have to play the Cram Session, because I'm probably going to play all the other ones. So that's something we can consider since Hunt for Specimens has slightly better synergy with Necrotic Fumes needing something to exile. So we're leaning pretty heavily on Professor Onyx to win us the game, so I think I need double disappointments to make sure we can draw into our Planeswalker more reliably. Uh, this is actually a deck that wouldn't have minded access to the Archivists. Did we pick one up by any chance? We did not. As a way to shuffle back Professor Onyx if it gets answered. But I don't think we had a great opportunity to pick one up. Ambrose is kind of a 4-drop here. I don't know how often we're going to play Shale, considering how few creatures we have, but we'll see. Oh yeah, Dragon's Approach wants to go. And then... One more cut. Uh, 17 lands, probably okay, since we have a relatively high curve. And we have plenty of uh, mana sinks with Campus. In terms of mana fixing, we have Campus Guide, Letter, four dual lands here, and then of course our Sciences with Triple Hunt early on for fixing. Our deck looks like main black and then kind of equal parts red and white. Maybe a little bit more white and red, but not by much since Rise of Exodus and Pledge Mage we can cast without white mana potentially. So it's really potentially Shale, although we can always cast Ambrose for double black. And then some of these gold cards. So it's a pretty even split between white and red. Also looking at our curve, these aren't cards we necessarily need to cast early. And same goes for the red cards. So yeah, the core is definitely black for hunts, so we can get our fixing from sciences. Our current mana base sort of reflects that. We have 6 plus Archway Commons reds and whites and then 7 plus Archway Commons black. Probably needs one more black source just so we can cast our hunts more reliably. And then between white and red maybe cut the mountain since you know if Pledge Mage still needs either white or black mana so if I draw multiple mountains, that's going to be awkward. Although on the other hand, rip apart, we won't be able to cast early if we play a swamp. So there's a bit of tension in the mana base for sure. I don't think we touch any of the cards on the left. So it's going to be either an expel. Maybe one rip apart can go since we have double inspiration, which does a similar job and is potentially easier to cast. Uh, closing statement's not gonna give us a plus one counter very often, although I guess it can pump a pass token. Yeah, I think Expel might be the cut. We have a decent number of removal spells for big things between double closing statement, double rise, onslaught, and the other Expel. So I think I'm fine cutting the second one. Alright, and then probably don't need Explosive Welcome. Okay, I think this is our deck. So again, gonna rely pretty heavily on Professor Onyx to close out the game. And maybe just run the opponent out of removal sp or out of creatures and eventually uh, kill them with our leftovers. 
And then gonna go with a uh, Professor Onyx sleeve. All right, I think we're ready. All right, we've got a beautiful hand. So given that we drew campus guides, I don't need to hunt for environmental sciences. Although I don't even need to look for land with guide really. Since we have all the mana we need right now. Ooh, Tainted Pact. What are we pacting for? Alright, they just cycled it for Disappointment. Yeah, that's worth killing. And then what do we get? We can potentially cast Transformation, thanks to the Archway Commons, by the way. Uh, I guess Introduction to Prophecy, since we don't really have a play lined up for next turn, other than just Hunt for another Lesson. And then Hunt can maybe get Necrotic Fumes as more removal. Can trigger it twice next turn if it survives. Ooh, Flunk. Fair enough. Yeah, Hunt Fumes is mana efficient. Still leaves the Rises removal. Sure. Could also go for the uh, Expanded Anatomy on Campus Guide. But uh, Combat Professor is kind of a long-term issue since it flies. So don't mind killing it now. I mean, we can just keep killing stuff. Although, if we introduction and find Rip Apart or another Igneous Inspiration, we can still kill this and they won't get the benefit from the counters anywhere else. Plus, we can still attack with it, into it with Campus Guide. So don't really feel the need to Rise of Exorcist. So let's keep up Rip Apart mana. And there it is. His campus guide gonna go all the way. Can start scrying with her campus too now. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, I'll take it. I guess we want to rise of Exodus the squad so it doesn't distribute its counters. And then what lesson are we going to get here? I could get introduction to annihilation. Yeah. If I attack, our opponent's certainly going to trade. Is that a good thing? I mean, we do have a lot of removal. And next turn, if I Onslaught, I can maybe deal one more damage with the trigger. So I think we'll wait. Shield Mage, sure. Ooh, Pledge Mage is nice. 
So this turn I could go Onslaught to Shield Mage, attack, offer the trade. And they take one more and then Pledge Mage. And then next turn we can fly over with a Disappointment. Yeah, sure. Opponent takes it. Fair enough. If I draw like a hunt for specimens, I can get anatomy to put on the pledge mage and kill them. Just some lands. In that case, we'll just hit for three. They might have an expel in hand. Nope. I guess playing an untapped plan so we can scry is also reasonable. Probably scry and upkeep now. Ooh, Shadrach Silver Quill. So that explains why they didn't want to trade earlier. So they can draw cards, that's for sure. Alright, that just goes face, so that's game. Who needs Professor Onyx when you have Campus Guy that deals 10 damage? Fine hands. Doesn't look like Campus Guy's gonna need to find any lands. I mean, I'm okay with this trade, it's just that if they have the pump spell, we get punished and they probably wouldn't make this trade if they didn't have the pump spell, so... I'm thinking the uh, the one that gives plus three, plus one and trample and learns. And they just had another apprentice. I'm fine with the closing statement here. And then now we at least trade if they have the pump spell. I could have attacked, but yeah, I guess it's fair. I maybe should have if I was okay at trading for the apprentice anyway. Uh, but now we'll take it and then... Ooh, hello there. Yeah, getting three damage and taking two damage is probably not worth it when we want to have a high life total to work with. So, I think we just pass and then statement end of turn. Campus guide keeps growing. And it's becoming unstoppable. All right, let's set up our defenses. Quintorius could be a problem if it gets out of hand. Although currently no real synergy with it in the graveyard. Hmm, Stone Rice Spirit's annoying for multiple reasons. More evasion, we only have the one reach creature, but also synergy with Quintorius. Alright, 
that makes it easy. Now Onyx can cleanly get rid of the spirit. Hmm, reduces unfortunate though. It means they can reduce my Professor Onyx, so are we okay with that exchange? I play Onyx, they lose spirits, and they reduce my Onyx, I get a 3-2. Yeah, it's not great for me, but what's the alternative here? I can play Shale and they maybe exile it. And then I can make the same play and not lose Onyx. Although in the meantime, they could make some spirits with Quintorius. Although I guess if they're casting reduced, that's not the case. So maybe Shale is bait and then we can still disappointments. Could also sack the Warden to get a removal spell back. And kill either Spirit or Quintorius, but I'm, I'm kind of liking this bait with Shale. And then I can still use my mana efficiently with disappointments. Seems fine. Could have also gone for Ambrose to put counters on creatures. We'll see what happens. Best case scenario day. Exile Shale here. So they've got a pump spell. Or they're planning to give Quintorius flying. So now they can't have the plus three pump spell. So we get punished if we block spirit and have the plus two plus two hexproof trick. So maybe better off blocking Quintorius here. Well, that didn't seem like they had anything. All right, so we can get all sorts of answers now. So. I can hunt for Necrotic Fumes, Exile Stone Rice Spirit, that seems like a good starting point. Or I could go for Annihilation and then I can put a counter on my token so it still trades for like a 3-2 on the ground. Yeah, them drawing a card is probably fine. So an attack first. And then next turn might sacrifice Warden to get the removal spell back to get rid of Quintorius. All right, there goes that plan. They can actually use the Lorehold Apprentice's ability if they want for the first time ever. All right, just an attack, happy to trade. Got a couple options, although Artist, Activate Shale is not bad. Yeah, I guess Rise of Exodus... Yeah, they didn't have a target in their own graveyard, otherwise that could have triggered Quintorius as well. Do I send a Campus Guide here? It's probably a little greedy. Still need some creatures on defense too. Yeah, us knowing about this reduce has made us play a lot differently. Alright, bonus down to one card. And rip apart's nice. 
so I can rip the inkling disappointments see what we pick up or I can maybe fire that off end of turn although I might draw something I can cast thanks to the treasures should maybe start here Pledge Mage. So now I could attack with Artist, which would trade for both their creatures. And then probably hanging back with the Guide. All right, opponent finally pulls the trigger on artists. Ooh, spellbinder! You can see our Professor Onyx, which we've been sandbagging this entire time, but we can still cast it with the extra cost here. So no worries. Can kill the spellbinder. Ground is stalled. Life is good. Well darn, looks like you flunked out. Mwah. I will stay back. And then our opponent packs it in. Alright. So, you know, we played it patiently. I think our patience paid off, although I'm sure we also could have gotten there with some different lines of play. Alrighty, we made our gems back. Mission accomplished. Alright, you know what? Just because we have a Professor Onyx deck and we made our gems back already, I feel like splurging a little bit. This hand's fine, Inspiration can learn for Sciences to get our white mana. It's just all removal. How can we possibly go wrong? Ooh, what a start. Sequence into Cultivator. Still want to kill the land. And I think I still use Inspiration to be mana efficient. And then I think I still want to get to Sciences. And then next turn we can maybe sign this plus rip apart, we'll see. Another cultivator. Yeah, I mean if they just go over the top and start casting big expensive spells, we could be in trouble. I don't really want to waste my Onslaught on a 3-4, but they do survive Inspiration. Yeah, tough spot. Next turn we can set up Hunt for Specimens plus Necrotic Fumes if we have land 5. I could try and gain some life back with my Pledge Mage, so maybe we just play Pledge Mage here. And then next turn I can both Flying and Life Link if we go Sciences plus Removal Spell.
because we will be able to cast two spells for a few turns in a row here. Kelpie guides and easy targets. So sciences gets a mountain and then rip apart. Could also inspiration. Hmm. I guess I could have also gotten the swamp, so we have triple black for specimens, necrotic fumes. Maybe that was bad. Yeah, let's inspiration then. We have a fight spell. What is this? Quandrix commands. Oof, ouch. That hurts. That hurt a lot. Yeah, now we're probably just dead. We're just behind on mana. Even though we've got all the removal, can't deploy it in time. We've already gotten sciences. Yeah, I don't think it matters here. They hit us for 10, we're at 3. And then we're just dead. It's not like we have a sweeper. Yeah, I mean, that's a difficult curve to beat. If only we had Rip Apart on turn 2, so we could have killed the sequence land. Alright, GG's. Sure. Sciences to get our mountain. Perfect mana, no worries. I'm not used to these arrows. Mm, there's our lovely new emotes. Ladder also works. Wanna hit my land drop. And then that's my entire turn gone. Or I could disappointment and then maybe find land that way. If I miss it's pretty bad. But it is more mana efficient. Perfection. Well, that's gonna go. So maybe Shield Mage and next turn kill it. What do I feel is the best school in Strix? I think they're pretty balanced. Lorehold I don't end up in unless, you know, we've got some crazy deck like this where we're just kind of splashing it. Um, but I think all the other ones are... Uh, fine. Just don't be afraid to splash a third color or try some multicolor decks, especially if you get fixing from cards like Sciences, Letter, etc. I guess we could also Expel plus Inspiration. Yeah, that's also pretty neat since we deal with both creatures at once.
and then get... Hmm. I have a lot of removal in hand already. Let's get Prophecy. I consider Necrotic Fumes, but I don't want to exile my Campus Guide to it, because, you know, Campus Guide, come on. Expanded Anatomy also definitely could be good, just don't want to go all in, all in on the Shield Mage. Could Prophecy plus Guide. Don't really care about the sector. So I might as well prophecy first. Disappointments, sure. Yeah, the disappointments have been pretty good in this deck, unlike what the uh, name implies. Just because our deck's just a pile of removal, so having a bit of card advantage is important. They can only use the sector at sorcery speed. Alright, Professor Onyx, you say. I could Sciences plus Rise the Light Scribe. If we want to be mana efficient. They've got something. If it's Professor's Warning, at least Rise Exiles, so we can still kill the Light Scribe. And then now we'll probably get our anatomy. So they kind of have to deal with shield mage here. And then onyx can maybe finish them off. Maybe an expel. Baleful mastery, okay. Now anatomy is looking a little worse. Although now I can clean up their entire board with Onyx plus closing statements. Assuming they don't have a protection spell. But there's no real way for me to play around it, because statement I can only cast end of turn. So, yeah, let's go for it. Welcome to Witherbloom College, class. It was going to die eventually anyway. Uh, let's hope they don't have a professor's warning or some other trick. D spark. All right, we lost our planeswalker, but we still got a trigger points at four, and we've got a buff campus guide, so still feel pretty good about this. Ooh, that's a sad, sad rescuer. Let's burn them out. Really should have let Campus Guide get across the finish line here. Got to play our Planeswalker, got to use our emotes, got our 7 wins, max value. So no complaints here.
crank some pinks. Shandrick, Silver Quill. Yeah, that's a good card. Very tricky to always make the correct decision if you decide to use it, but very fun card. Sadly, some more gems. Sir Pank openings have become less interesting now. Oh, is it a wild card? No, it's Mila, Crafty Companion. Haven't seen a ton of this in action, either limited or constructed. But uh, there's probably some fun things we can do with Luca. All right, then our last pack. Can we get another mythic? We cannot. All right, got a vault to open at least. But yeah, want to thank everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.